Hi, Gemini. Welcome to Higher Source Tarot. For a tarot and oracle card reading for all Gemini. Sun, moon, rising, and Venus. We'll start off here with a Moonology Manifestation Oracle card followed up by the tarot. You have the new moon in Capricorn. Step up and lead, okay? So there may be something pertaining to money and career. I get it that way first, but there are also two in terms of love, but I get it more with money. Step up and lead. All right. I heard, let the cards fall where they may. Okay, I just want to tell you that. All right, you got the Eight of Swords, the Queen of Pentacles, the Star, I'm liking it, the Tower. Now, the Tower comes right before the Star in order, but when they're that close together, I feel like you're going to have a change for the better. The Five of Pentacles, the Seven of Swords, the Lovers, and the Ace of Swords. Well, I feel like you're going to get information. Either somebody gets caught in a lie, and I feel like it sets you free, okay? If there's there's information that's going to come out, and you know what we have in the bottom? I don't usually take that bottom card unless it's you and your own energy, which you already came out in the lovers. But I feel like it's this. Justice will be served. The tables are going to be turned on somebody big time. I heard the lights are going to go out. And so it's like one of these deals. I feel like somebody here, information is going to come out, and it's going to blow the roof off of things. If it's an interpersonal relationship situation, if it's an ex, you're going to watch some things happen in their life that I feel like you're going to be glad to be a spectator and not a participant in. If you lost a job, I just feel like if somebody, there's some dishonesty around you. There's no doubt about it. You have somebody here, it feels very disempowering to me, somebody who plays fast and loose with the truth and it's like you're having to watch this and take the high road. And I feel like you're finally gonna be vindicated where it will come out. And I, if there's been any doubt at all, any shred of doubt, or even if, it, again, it was interpersonal, not necessarily a job, and people doubted you, I feel like they may come forward with a perfunctory apology, but I just don't see you being interested. I think this is gonna be a turning point for you and an important one with that. As at that. Now, I like this too with justice and the lovers. If you went through a difficult time with the star here too, you have the red robe of desire, but I feel like these together, here's where your life moves forward. It's all going to be okay. That star energy is the light at the end of the tunnel. It's an unwavering faith. And especially too, if you know the truth about something and you've kind of been sitting there waiting, like this just doesn't seem right. How is life happening like this? I feel like you're finally going to get the answers, and so is everyone else. Now, if it was a job situation, too, I feel like you have a new offer that's for more money. And I also feel like, quite frankly, it's for less work, too. Okay, I feel like you're going to be surprised. I also feel like, too, there's something about, like, people being underpaid. <clears throat> so if you if you do get a raise and you're kind of concerned, like, how can they how can they afford all this? It's because over time they've been uh, pay, underpaying people across the board, except for the people in charge. Of course, their salaries are commensurate with the others. Um, but I do feel like with this, you're going to break free. I always loved the unclothed characters. Now, of course, these have those unfortunate uh, bikinis drawn on them, but what they really represent is freedom. So I do feel like you're going to be in this place where things are going to move forward. Talk about a lack of freedom, this Eight of Swords. I just feel like you were very disempowered. It feels like a bit of a sitting duck. And so especially too, if you chose to take the high road where you just thought, I'm just not going to stoop to their level. I'm not going to trash talk anyone. I'm not going to go around and tell everyone the truth. And it was hard. Like you sat there and perhaps took some things and had people direct their comments towards you and negate you. I feel like you're finally breaking free of this energy and in such a way that I just feel like you won't look back. And so this Eight of Swords, it's a lot of people involved is how it feels to me. A lot of people. And I just feel like people have their own theories about what was going on. And they may have created a lot of gossip as a result where they're theorizing and they're wrong and they're get, you know, it's getting traction and it's, 
<clears throat> gaining legs, having legs and taking off running, I feel like you're finally going to have the truth, as we said. Now, if it's also to a job that you lost and you have been waiting, I feel like you'll, you're going to move forward now, especially with the Queen of Pentacles. So she's quite a perfectionist. So I feel like any new offers that you have will be in perfect timing, in perfect order. They'll be, like we said, maybe even less work or at least the perfect amount of work. That's what she's about, perfection. But she's also very nurturing. It's also a card, too, of being in nature. So I feel like somebody, if you've been having some quiet nature walks, meditative walks, doing yoga outside, or some other type of exercise outside, or even just sitting in the stillness, okay, and just knowing that that's exactly where you should be at that point in time, you're going to be finding the return from it. Now, if it's a relationship you're asking about, it might be an earth sign you're attracting. You've got Libra, Aquarius, Gemini, all the air signs, but I also too could get it as a Taurus, Virgo cap. And so with this, this earthy energy, it brings in stability, balance, a perfect partnership. It's all here. <clears throat> so the energy of the star here, she's connected to source energy. So again, especially too with the Queen of Pentacles, I feel like they're saying it is a it's a good time for you to be outside to be connecting with nature but know that this is a time for happiness that there's more coming you've got that unshakable faith that unwavering faith and you're tapped into the limitless flow of the universe so i feel like with this you trust your feelings and the universe is what this is all about if you've been having a hard time things are about to get a whole lot better this is also a card of companionship. So I do feel like if it was a love interest, if it was a breakup and they kind of got the better end of things, if they took part of your friend group and it seemed like you just became dead to the friend group and you're like, God, I thought we were friends. I guess not. I feel like you're going to have, you're reinventing yourself is what I just heard. The reinvention of your life in such a better way, in a way that's not so fragile. Because there's a feeling of fragility about whatever that was. And so when we get trapped and stuck, it's oftentimes because it's not on a firm foundation. It's on something that's shaky to begin with. And so you have a big release with the tower. We might as well talk about these together because they are basically roommates. The tower is a release of anything holding back. It's a change you maybe knew you needed to make, but didn't make it because of a lot of times our logic talks us out of it. We talk ourselves into staying in situations where we feel trapped until the universe does for us what we won't do for ourselves. And so with this tower moment, it's really saying if you make the change yourself, you'll feel more in control. But how the cards come out is like somebody else made changes and you were sort of standing there holding the aftermath of it. The tower, of course, is a breakdown for a breakthrough. So I do feel like you finally have a resolution and the tower always ushers in more. It is the corporate raider of the deck. And so especially where money and finance is concerned, if something wasn't balanced, if it wasn't on the up and up, it has to change. And it, and it may in the practical sense too, where you say this was just not sustainable or if they were being dishonest and it was a business where it wasn't sustainable. But ultimately out of this, you have the end of delusions. That black in the background is contrast. It's the shadow self. And so we always go towards the shadow because the shadow is the greatest guide to the light. So I definitely feel like there was a situation that was upended, but it was for the better, finally. <clears throat> so with this Five of Pentacles energy, you should, this is a change card, um, but you know, they're a bit left out in the cold, aren't they here? So I kind of feel like this is uh, feels timeline-wise like it was before the tower. Okay, now there could have been an ending that also caused this, I guess, but I, I, get, I guess I get it both ways. But it's like I feel like you moved on in a way that was difficult, that was cold-hearted, and, and you know, moved on and did what you needed to do. But I still feel like there's going to be a big reverberation after the moving on. Like you're really going to be looking and watching it happen rather than that you're moving on as a result. Because the truth is, too, we, we do create our own realities. 
And so what we, what we have in our subconscious is what starts showing up on the outside. So for someone here, I feel like you didn't, there was something you wanted to change quite deep inside of you. And so it did, but sometimes the mind isn't quite caught up with the spirit. And so with the seven of swords, who wants to stay around this bum? Well, whoever this is, is not trustworthy. I mean, I, and I know they might be able to smooth talk and convince, but it's just not sustainable. So with the Seven of Swords, I feel like you're going to get a lucky break. You're going to say, I dodged one on that. I'm so glad I'm not in that mess anymore. And so if there was a big um, wave of layoffs too, okay, if you ended up getting laid off first or you left because you could see the writing on the wall, I feel like there's a wave after you and the people who stayed get it even worse. And so with this energy of the lovers, you're moving on and you're flourishing in this. That Archangel Ra Raphael guides you, and he's also the matchmaker of the tarot. So if you had somebody who took control of you or took advantage of your good graces and of your, your ability to want to see the good in people, but they took advantage of that, I feel like you have one coming in who's going to be a lot better. Somebody who is going to be very trustworthy, very balanced. I mentioned it could be an earth sign or a get air too. With this Ace of Swords, the truth comes out. The truth sets you free, and you're moving on. And that these upright swords, it's the crooked ones we have to watch out for. But the upright swords, you have it here, and you have it here, always in your favor. So it's communication that comes in. And I feel like, Gemini, you're going to have the last laugh. That's how I get it, okay? So let's see what the angels want to tell you. Trust. Trust that the universe always has your back. You've got the card of success driven to success and the situation will improve. I should say so. You've got perfect timing and you've got a yes. Good things are on the way for you, Gemini. I love you and I'll be back again soon.